Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. So I have a grocery haul for y'all and this one is kind of small. I still have a good bit of stuff left from last week. Last week's was a pretty big haul. Um, so I didn't need quite as much this week. I still actually had two or three um, suppers that I had planned for last week that we ended up not doing. So I just had to get like four other supper ideas, three if you don't count pizza night. <laughs> So this is not a very big haul at all, but it did still cost around $170 because I got a lot of meat. That was the most expensive thing in this haul, the meats, and I got the boys a shower curtain, which technically isn't part of the grocery budget, so if you take that out, it was only around $160. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and show you what we got, and I'll try to go through the meal plan as I go, um, but I will also have it in the description box below. Oh yeah, and for anybody who is new watching, just in case there's somebody new, we are a family of six and I'm expecting our fifth baby in October. So then we'll be a family of seven and I try to keep our grocery budget between $165 and $185 per week, which equals out to be only around $30 per person, which I don't think is too bad. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and show you what we got. All right, y'all. So first of all, one thing that's not in this haul that normally always is, is some type of ice cream. But that's because we made some homemade ice cream the other night. And I have the ingredients to make some more homemade ice cream, which now that I think about it, I may do this evening because I'm really feeling some homemade ice cream right now. Okay, anyway, back to the haul. Here we go. Over here for produce this week, we got some broccoli, some green onions, lettuce, three gigantic cucumbers, some bananas, strawberries. I got some more of these plums. These, I just love plums, y'all. They're so good. Anyway, so I got just a few more plums and some lemons. Normally I get like six to eight lemons, but I still have some left from last week. So I just needed about four. We use this for our sweet tea and for um, Titus's lemon water. He takes it to work with him every day. And I got him that big cooler last week, the big water cooler. So now I just like put a whole lemon in that cooler when he goes to work. So anyway, then we have some onions, tomatoes, and a green bell pepper. I also have some apples and stuff that I bought the other day, um, Saturday, I think it was, when I had to do just a quick little trip because Titus decided he wanted apple cider roast chicken and all this. Anyway, so I have apples and I also still have grapes and stuff left from last week. So I didn't need a whole lot of produce this week we have 18 eggs john and aldra are supposed to be cleaning their room but y'all probably hear them in the background i don't hear cleaning going on <laughs> i hear lots of playing and loudness but anyway so we have eggs two gallons of milk and i got some tortilla chips back there and y'all i put my grocery pickup order in last night and our wi-fi is being so crazy here lately it kept freezing up kept freezing up and I would like be trying to put something in my cart and it wouldn't let me. So I would close the app out and then open it back up and forget I forgot to put stuff in my cart. <laughs> so I got some cheese. I thought that I had ordered cheese dip to go with those, but it wasn't. I, I it didn't go on there because my Wi-Fi is crazy. The cheese dip and my deodorant is what I didn't end up ordering because my phone was being slow and then I would forget to go and check and see if it was in the cart. But anyway, that's not a big deal. I'll pick it up sometime this week. We got some sour cream. I got this 20 pack of Oscar Mayer hot dogs. Um, I figured we could have this for hot dogs for lunch a couple days maybe this week. Um, or if we decide to grill out any, I don't have grilling out on the meal plan. But if we decide to grill out, I would already have the hot dogs. These were on rollback for, ah, uh, I can't remember, just around $5, I think. I can't remember, but I got those. I got a twin pack of scalloped potatoes. This is for a new recipe that I'm going to be trying this week. I can't remember what it's called, beef and scalloped potato something. I don't know. It'll be in the description box, but that's what that's for. Then I have one four-pound bag of sugar back there, some pancake syrup. Um, I grabbed two more packs of these little puddings for the kids, and I stick them in the um, cooler when the boys go with Titus to work, too. I'll stick them a little pudding in there, sometimes one for Titus. I don't know if he eats them, but <laughs> anyway. Then I have some pepperonis, some sharp cheddar cheese shredded. We have some butter. I got this uh, multigrain bread this week instead of the honey wheat, I think is what I've been getting. But the kids are actually starting to like this kind of bread instead of 
the white bread. So I got multigrain this time. I got some string cheese. And then I have a big old pack of hamburger buns. Um, we didn't end up making the Nashville hot chicken sandwiches last week, so I still have that on the menu plan, meal plan. And I found a new recipe that's called Steakhouse Cheddar Burgers that we're gonna have one night. I'm so excited about those. So I got another pack of hamburger buns for that, and I have some still in the cabinet, so this 12 pack will be enough for both of those meals. And then, I got a big 12 count pack of the hot dog buns. I got some white turkey for sandwiches this week and then I got some mild cheddar cheese for those steakhouse cheddar burger things. And then I got some of these Sister Schubert's cinnamon rolls. I love them. They are so good. Anyway, I got those. The other day at Ingles, I got the Rhodes brand of cinnamon rolls and those are also really good too. They're a little bigger than these, um, but of course they don't come with as many. Like it only came with six cinnamon rolls. And uh, yeah, my boys like to have more than one cinnamon roll in the mornings. <laughs> anyway, so I got this kind this time. Um, we have some hash browns with the onions and peppers, the southern style kind. I have a pack of light brown sugar. This is going to be for... Um, those steakhouse cheddar burgers have a like a onion barbecue sauce that you make. I cannot wait to try them. If y'all can tell, that's I'm feeling like that might be what I make for supper tonight. I don't know. <laughs> then I have some powdered donuts back there, and I got this box of a 27 pack of the little Pringles things for um, Titus and the boys to put in their cooler for their lunches, snacks, whatever. And I got two boxes of macaroni and cheese, some pickles. I got some of the Great Value Zesty Steak Sauce. This is the kind that tastes like um, 57 sauce. Some ketchup and some ranch dressing and Thousand Island salad dressing. Then I grabbed some chocolate syrup because the kids have been wanting some chocolate milk a good bit here lately. So I got a little chocolate syrup. I got these Chips Deluxe cookies this week. And then all the meats here, this is what made this cost so much. Um, one night, we're going to be having grilled pork chops with salads and baked potatoes. So I got this big pack. Um, it was $11.38 for this pack. And then I got a big pack of chicken because the Nashville hot chicken sandwiches and the honey mustard chicken I didn't end up making last week. And I realized after I put that grocery haul up that I totally didn't even order the chicken last week anyway. So I got the chicken this time and it was 10 19 And then I have a pack of ground beef. This is for the scalloped potatoes and ground beef slow cooker meal that we're gonna be having. And then I got a big 4.5 pound pack of ground chuck for the smokehouse. What did I, why do I keep calling it smokehouse, y'all? steakhouse cheddar burgers <laughs> that we're going to be having and this is like $13 I think and then this is seven so anyway just whoo meats be costing lots of money then I got some Jimmy Dean sausage for sausage and gravy biscuits and some bacon all right so that's all the food items that I needed this week and then non-food like I said the boys needed a new shower curtain so I got them this one it's just it looks black on camera but it's a dark blue and white stripes then I got some aluminum foil, toothpaste, toothpaste, Titus's deodorant, and then I got some dish detergent. Okay, and real quick, I have a little bonus Dollar General haul because I remembered after it was too late to add to my grocery pickup order that I forgot to put trash bags on there, so, and Tums. So I went into Dollar General just real quick to grab these, so I just got these trash bags not a great great deal but it'll get me by for a couple of weeks and or at least till i do my next grocery pickup order and get the ones from walmart and then of course i need my tums for my heartburn i got peanut butter because i also forgot to put it in my grocery pickup order and i don't know if we've ever tried the dollar general brand of like clover valley peanut butter but we're going to give it a try um i'm running low on cups so i grabbed some cups i got some of these little peanut butter crackers for the boys lunches and stuff and I got me some of these peanut butter fudge cookies. And I grabbed a pack of Reese Cups to stick in the freezer. Because we like them in the freezer. Alright y'all, so that is it for today's grocery haul. Like I said, I'll have the whole meal plan in the description box below. I will also go ahead and link. I had a couple people ask about the Nashville hot chicken sandwiches last week. So I will link that video down below where I made those chicken sandwiches in case y'all want to get the recipe. 
it's probably an old video I can't remember how long ago it's been but anyway I'll find it and link it down below for y'all and don't forget to let me know in the comments what you are having for supper tonight we love y'all and we will see y'all tomorrow